Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very interesting and challenging question from exponential equations. It is 16 power 1 minus x times 5 power 1 over x equal to 100. And we are going to calculate real solutions. So let's get started. As x in the denominator of exponent, x cannot be 0. Now I will write one property from exponents a power b minus c. It is equal to a power b divided by a power c. Let's apply this property here. So I can write equation as 16 over 16 power x times 5 power 1 over x equal to 100. Divide this equation by 16. So 5 power 1 over x divided by 16 power x equal to 100 over 16. Now I will take log both sides with base 10. Now log a over b in LHS, log a over b in RHS. So let us use the property from log. Log a over b, it is equal to log a minus log b. Let's apply. So I can write log 5 power 1 over x minus log 16 power x equal to log 100 minus log 16. Now I will write another property from log. Log a power b. Here it is b log a. So we will use this property and take this 1 over x as a multiplier and x also as a multiplier. So I can write 1 over x log 5 minus x log 16 equal to log 100 with base 10. It is 2 minus log 16. Now I will multiply this equation by x as x is non-zero. So I can write log 5 minus x square log 16 equal to 2 minus log 16 times x x non-zero. Now I will write the value of log 16. It is equal to log 2 power 4. Using the same property I can write 4 log 2. So log 16 is 4 log 2. Let us replace. So log 5 minus x square times 4 log 2 equal to 2 minus 4 log 2 times x. Now I will take all the terms to RHS. So equation will become 4x square log 2 plus 2 minus 4 log 2 times x minus log 5. So our equation will become 4x square log 2 plus 2 minus 4 log 2 times x minus log 5 equal to 0. So let us frame one quadratic equation in x. It is visible also. Let me write in appropriate form 4 log 2 times x square. Then I will be taking minus common. So it will become 4 log 2 minus 2 times x minus log 5 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation in x where coefficient of x square is 4 log 2 as a coefficient of x is minus 4 log 2 minus 2 it is b we will take up and this is our c. Now let's check the discriminant. It is b square minus 4ac. So I will be writing here b square. So it will be 4 log 2 minus 2 whole square minus 4 times a is 4 log 2 
and c is minus log 5. So let us write here plus log 5. Now I will expand a minus b whole square formula. Let me write here 4 log 2 minus 2 whole square plus 4 times 4 log 2 times log 5. But before that I will write log 5. It is equal to log 10 over 2 using log a over b formula. This will be log 10 minus log 2. Log 10 is 1 with base 10 minus log 2. So in place of log 5, we can write 1 minus log 2 here. And let's expand a minus b whole square identity. So a square 16 log 2 whole square plus b square so plus 4 minus 2ab so minus 16 log 2 plus 16 log 2 and log 5 I will write 1 minus log 2. Let's write 16 log 2 whole square plus 4 minus 16 log 2 plus 16 log 2 minus 16 log 2 whole square. Now you can see 16 log 2 whole square and minus. This will be over. This will also be over. So discriminant is coming out 4 only. Now I will find out roots using quadratic formula. So x will be equal to minus b. So minus of 4 log 2 minus 2. So I will write 4 log 2 minus 2 plus minus square root of discriminant over 2a. So it will become 2 times 4 log 2. Now let's plug in the value of discriminant. It is 4 log 2 minus 2 plus minus square root 4 over 8 log 2. So I can write here 4 log 2 minus 2 plus minus 2 over 8 log 2. This is our x so far. Now I will consider plus and minus 1 by 1. So let me write here with plus sign x will be equal to 4 log 2 minus 2 plus 2 over 8 log 2 and with minus sign 4 log 2 minus 2 minus 2 over 8 log 2. So x will be equal to this plus and minus 2 will be over and log 2 log 2 will be over 4 over 8 it will give us half. Here I will be writing 4 log 2 minus 4 over 8 log 2. So this will be our final answer. Approximate value if I will write then this is 0 0.5 and this value will be negative 1.16 approximate. If we want to check our solution then I can check x equal to half. So 16 power 1 minus half times 5 power 1 over half. So this is 16 power half times 5 power 2. 16 power half is square root 16 so 4. 5 power 2 is 25. This will give us 100 which is our RHS. 
so this brings the end of the video do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video goodbye good luck